In this video, I want to show you a new feature of Microsoft Edge, the browser, that's going to make it a lot easier to take content from a website that's in a table, like a table of numbers, financial numbers, and put them into either Excel or PowerPoint. And it's this new feature called Copy Content. And so here's what the description says, is it allows you to copy formatted web content. So tables are formatted as a table on a website, it now will copy that content and allow you to paste it into other applications. So the shortcut key there is Control Shift X. So what I'm going to do is let's go to this uh, table of information. This is from the Government of Canada financial report for the year. You see it's a big table of information on a website. And so what I'm going to do in the Edge browser, I'm going to press Control Shift X and I get my cursor to select. So I'll select the headings down and you'll notice that it, it's selecting the cells and I can keep going so it doesn't have to all be in the view at the same time. And when I release my mouse button, I get the little copy there. We'll zoom on so you can see that. So you see the little copy button. So I click on that, it says copied and then I'll go to Excel. So in Excel, I can just hit Control V paste and it pastes it in and each of these cells are the numbers. So it's automatically taken those numbers and converted them. So you notice in the table it had commas. Well, here it comes in, but the number in Excel is a properly formatted number. So this makes it so much easier to work with the data to get it into Excel and do analysis. In PowerPoint, when I hit Control V to paste it in, it comes in as a formatted PowerPoint table. So notice this is a table. We see the table design and table layout ribbons here in PowerPoint. See that those ribbons indicate that this is actually a table. So this is a great technique to use when you have tabular data in a web page. You want to get it into either Excel or PowerPoint using this new feature in the Microsoft Edge browser. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, use the link below to get notified of my new articles and videos on virtual presenting. And like this video on YouTube so others can discover it as well.